magician. Magician. Okay, so then, because that's way too easy for you guys, we're going to take the springs up. You're going to take that up depending again on the size of the person. I usually put mine at six. You go six, five, six, or seven. I think I wrote six or seven in the book. Six or seven. Um, for the small people, six is already a lot, so you could adjust it. This one, if your springs aren't high enough, it's actually harder. But if they're too high, you can't even get your bottom to come back to the ground. So it's kind of one of those trial and error a little bit, finding out how big the person is versus how strong they are. And so here, we're gonna, what really gets to work a lot more on the Magician series is the posterior line of the body. So you will get some back extensor work, you'll get more, more hamstring work in this series. So it's really great uh, for that. It is loaded and flexion. So people who have contraindications for loaded flexion really should not be levitate. It's levitation and the whole butt of our head that we talked about, we don't want to do on the mat either. I would contraindicate it for loaded um, overhead flexion. It's a hard exercise to do and execute well. Um, I do have some of my more advanced students doing just the coccyx probe here, which isn't even in your book, but a lot of them can't maintain the position and not float it. So, and some of them, like the levitated dolphin, are bloated. So I'll put them out as we go. Um, but here you do want to be totally stretched out with your arms. And here's where you really want to be careful that all I'm doing is pushing myself away, not pulling myself up. Because the, the, the inclination is to want to pull, and that's not what we want you to do. We want you to do the work down in the lower body. All right, so. Oh, um, I'm just making this. I'm levitated leg like, pulls. So I like to push out in frog, then I can levitate up, and then I can pull up and down and turn out. Right? Yeah. And, and parallel and rectangles. Okay, so I can do parallel pulls, we are diving from the heels. I can do circles, I can do any of the ones I just did. Right? Reversing. I can do um, rectangles. And reversing. And scissors running. I can do running down. And running up. I can do changement. I can do bicycle. And here I'm really trying to make those circles as big as I can. And then reversing. Circular frog, levitated dog. And then I can do levitated frog. So here I would come into my frog. I'm going to press out, float up, bend in, roll down. It's almost like a version of short spine stretch, keeping in the resistance. And then I could reverse that, coming in, rolling up, pressing out, 